When you think about corporate and community partnerships, what are some ways that leaders can be intentional and how those are crafted versus maybe kind of being reactive and just Mm -hmm. donating money? I think the very first thing that comes to mind is that you have to get out of your boardroom. So the Tennessee Titans for a very, very long time before I joined, every decision about how the Titans should show up, um, which nonprofits they should support, uh, the reactionary things like, oh, there was a tornado, so we need to be out there. All of that was discussed inside the boardroom or inside within the, the walls of the company. And that's where a lot of companies they get it wrong because you need to have this level of engagement, this level of community involvement so that you are actually hearing the need. Because sometimes the need is so simple. It's like low hanging fruit things that as a corporation, you wouldn't know unless you talk to someone who is telling you their lived experience or that nonprofit that is saying, yes, we need X, Y, Z, but Um, instead of you giving me, you know, $10,000 and don't get me wrong, coming from the nonprofit sector, we love a good contribution. Mm -hmm. However, the issue or the challenge becomes when you give me that not that contribution and then you don't know necessarily, or you don't give any instruction on how I should use that contribution. So you either put limitations on the donation Or you give me a donation for um, something that we don't necessarily need or we don't have the space for. So unless you are actually having the conversations and the level of engagement that opens your eyes to really fit that need, then you're always going to be simply just checking a box Mm -hmm. and doing something that benefits the corporation or makes the corporation look good when you really should be focusing on how do we create this resource? How do we fill a gap for whether it's the community or the nonprofit that's serving that community? 